And we are live. Hey guys, what is going on? What is going on? You know what time it is. It is 9.55. So make sure you are sharing this post. I hope everyone has had a marvelous, marvelous day today. We're going to get started at 10 p.m. on the dot. So make sure you are share, share, and sharing again. If you are watching us live, make sure you hit a one. If you are watching us live, hit a two if you are hitting that replay. But for now, make sure you share to your page, you share to your profile, you tell other people to share, you share in groups because we want to support Black business. That's what is going on tonight. And we're going to start promptly at 10. So let's get to sharing. All right, guys, if you are watching us live, make sure you hit a one in the comment section. Hit a one in the comment section. If you are hitting that good old replay, make sure you hit a two. Also, go ahead and hit that share button for us. Let's share this to our timelines. Let's share this to our respected pages. You're in for a treat. It's a little play on words. You figure out that later. In for a treat, okay? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, hitting that one. If you are watching live, thank you guys so much. We're going to get started promptly at 10 o'clock. So make sure that you hit that share button for us. We are sharing to our pages, making sure that we spread the word that black business is here. We're here to stay and we are everywhere. Hey, Karesha, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for hitting that one for us. We have two minutes that we are getting started. So make sure you hit that one, one, drop that one in the comments for us below. Thank you, Karesha, for sharing. You drop the one in the comments. Also, if you are watching the replay, hit that too. Make sure you are share, share, sharing this. Just hit that little share button in the top. Also, make sure you share to profile, you share to page. And you can also create a watch party, guys. You could do that as well. So even though you're viewing live, make sure you either hit watch party or share. You can also do that. Natisa, thank you so much for tuning in. She is another shout out to her black business owner. So is Karesha. Hopefully I'll have her on one of these days. And you can also create a watch party, guys. You can do that as well. <laughs> Even though you're viewing live, make sure you can hit watch party or share. You can also do that. Is that me? I don't know what that was. Somebody, oh, it's gone now. <laughs> Okay. It's like, oh, what was that? That was me. <laughs> All right, guys, we got one minute. So go ahead and hit that share for us. Hit that share. We're going to start promptly at 10 p.m. So we got about 30 seconds, 40 seconds left. So make sure you get that in. Hit that share button. Make sure you are um, sharing this with your pages and let's spread the word. Hit a one. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. We definitely appreciate you for tuning in for another black business owner that I'm here to feature. About 30 seconds, guys. All right, 10 seconds, right? <laughs> so it is 10 p.m. on the dot. My name is Stephanie J. Sanders and I am CEO and founder of Cultivated Minds Enterprises where we inspire, cultivate, and educate those to be the person that they never had. So every night this month at 10 o'clock p.m., I chose to feature another 
black business owner. And guys, I wanted to shed that stereotype that we don't stick together, that we don't own anything, we don't have ownership and all those negative things. So I thought I'll bring black business owners in a positive light and have them bring awareness to their business. Cause a lot of times we don't know where they are or what they have to offer. And that's what I'm bringing you tonight. So without further ado, I have with us the amazing Mr. Hepson Henry, and he is owner of A Little Love Seasoning. And guys, I'm super excited because this, you know, I put this information out there that I wanted to feature black business owners, and I asked my business owners to send me samples. And this was my first sample that I got in the mail. And I was super, super excited. So I'm just going to let you see what I got in the mail. But you seeing it is not enough. Guys, the, as soon as I opened the package of these things, it hit me in a great way. So I'm going to let him tell us a little bit about his business and why these things smell so amazing. And I can't wait. <laughs> I actually ran out to buy chicken just so I can use it. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to have Mr. Henry um, share a little bit about his business. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, like she said, my name is Hepston Henry, uh, full name Hepston H. Henry II. I'm named after my father. Uh, we're probably the only two in the whole world. So you probably never hear this again unless you meet my, my father. Uh, my son, my, uh, my business is a little love seasoning, um, all seasoning for shorts. Um, started this business probably about a year ago. Um, yeah, almost exactly a year ago. My fiance and I started this about a year ago. Uh, we started just selling to close friends and family. We started giving it away. And then uh, somebody told me, you know, you should start selling this. Uh, did a couple test runs and it was going pretty well. So it was like, well, I think we got something good here. Um, I use it on literally everything that I cook. Um, you heard her say she bought some chicken, put some chicken in the um, the air fryer with some season on it. It's amazing. Awesome. So how did you come across that this was a hit? Were you in your kitchen just mixing up some things and... It came out great. How did you come across this? Because guys, honestly, when you get seasoning, you know, especially when I get seasoning in the little, uh, the packages or whatnot, right? You open it, you shake it on. It's like a, a little flavoring. But I can tell that this, what I have here is potent just by the smell of it. That means the flavor when I put it on fish, chicken, you know, pork, whatever it is, it's going to really, um, really hit me. So how did you come across this recipe? Well, actually, this is a family recipe, actually. The, um, the all-purpose rub, um, my mother, I used to help my mother make it when I was younger. Um, and the, the jerk seasoning is a, my family's recipe on my dad's side. My mother's from St. Croix and my dad is from Jamaica. Um, I was born in the United States in Queens, New York. So I, and I'm a military brat. So I just incorporated my upbringing, upbringing my roots, my travels. And I try to use as many, um, fresh or close to fresh ingredients as possible without using any additives or preservatives. And that's why the, the smell is so potent. Mm. Awesome. That's what I was going to ask you next. Like, are these fresh ingredients? Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in here uh, drying time myself or anything like that. I do go to the store and buy it. Uh, but I do make sure when I look at the ingredients that there's no no MSG, no preservatives, no additives or anything like that. Because companies usually just add that stuff in there for shelf life. It has nothing to do with the seasoning mm. itself. Awesome. So now I receive this one says seasoning and this one says jerk seasoning. Do you offer okay. other seasonings that people could purchase? Well, th those are my first two that I, I started with the all purpose seasoning and I released the jerk seasoning back in November. And this Friday, actually, I'm releasing a spicy garlic. Mm. And uh, people have been really excited about that. I actually have some pre-orders available on my site now, but it officially is released on this Friday. Awesome. So how would someone get in contact with you to order some? Um, we have a website um, up now. Um, like I said, we started last February and doing some, some trial runs. Um, Took us a couple months and we launched a website um, last May, I believe. So you can go to 
allseasoning20.com, the number 20, allseasoning20.com. Um, same for Facebook and Instagram as well, All Seasoning 20. Awesome. So guys, make sure you check out the description above. It has all of his contact information. If you want to get you some, I highly recommend you get you some because once I make my chicken with this, oh, y'all going to hear about it. <laughs> y'all y'all going to hear about it. Um, because I definitely like, you know, a good seasoned meat, but it's, it's hard to find, especially when you just be, you don't know what you're doing, right? You just be cooking. Right, right, right. <laughs> you don't know what to mix. <laughs> you just be trying things. But make sure you reach out to him, um, to his website. Make sure you follow him on his social media, his Facebook page, all of that great stuff. And make sure you also share it as well. Yeah, Definitely check him right. out um, and order something and get back with him. Let him know, you know, how it tastes and all that great stuff, okay? Um, do you have, besides what you're launching, do you have any more promotions that you would like to share with us? Oh, well, uh, and not right now. We're in the future. We will be uh, offering other uh, flavors. I'm also doing curry. That's probably be reached uh, probably about May or June doing curry. And I get ideas from all friends and family. I try not to do the same flavors as you would find in the store, like your typical, you know, lemon pepper, your garlic herb. Uh, I'm trying to do something different and in incorporate my West Indian roots. So you wouldn't typically find that in, you know, your grocery store. So I have a question um, with the jerk chicken seasoning. I'm mean, not jerk chicken, but the jerk seasoning. Um, is it, would you rate it mild? Would you, would it be hot? What is the level of heat <laughs> I'm getting ready to experience with this uh, jerk? So for me, it's mild. <laughs> I'll put it that way. For me, it's mild. I try not to use, I use red pepper in it instead of using uh, scotch bonnets because it, okay. um, it ranks differently on the, uh, on the pepper scale. It's not as hot. <laughs> um, but it has a little bite to it. You can, if you just, you know, put a little on your finger to taste it at first, it, it, it's kind of a delayed reaction on the heat. Oh, awesome. I love spicy food. So I just wanted to know how much spice was I getting? Was I getting yeah. Scott Bonnet spice or was I getting a little bit of pepper it's spice? So that's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna kill you. That's awesome. And where are you located? Uh, currently I'm located in North Carolina. Um, from Virginia, so I travel back and forth to Virginia all the time, but I'm currently located in North Carolina. Awesome. So guys, definitely reach out. Again, his information is located in the description above, but I cannot end this without giving you your Black history fact for tonight. So I know Mr. Henry is from Queens. I'm from Queens. Shout out, Queens. Queens. So I'm going to keep it rolling with another famous Black um person from Queens that you may not have known. Lawyer, political advisor, and corporate executive Richard Dean Parsons was named chief executive officer of AOL Time Warner and became the first Black to head the world's largest media conglomerate. He took office on May 16, 2001. He was the chief executive officer and chair of the Time Warner Incorporation board for the Time Warner Incorporated Board for four years, and then on October 1st, 1995, was named president of the leading media and entertainment conglomerate, conglomerate in the world at the time. He was the first Black president. With the, appointed, with the appointment, he became one of the highest ranking Blacks in corporate America. He guided the company into great prosperity in 2000 when it merged with America Online. Parsons grew up in Queens, New York, and graduated from the University of Hawaii and Union University's Albany Law School. In 1971, he joined the new governor, Nelson Rockefeller, as assistant counsel. During Rockefeller's term as vice president, Parsons served as general counsel and associate director of the White House Domestic Council. In 1977, he joined the law firm Patterson, Well, and Tyler, and two years later was named a managing partner. He was one of New York Mayor's Rudy Giuliani's first term campaign team member, and 2001 became the member of a mayor-elect 
Bloomberg, transitional team. Earlier in 2001, President George Bush appointed Parsons to co-chair for former U.S. Senator Danielle Patrick, a commission, a commission and recommended chances in the country's social security program. So that was Mr. Richard Dean Parsons, the first black to head the world's largest media conglomerate. Amazing. And now when I think about it, he, that could be why Parsons Boulevard is Parsons Boulevard. It could have been named after him, which is something amazing that we have a whole street in Queens named after a black man. So that was just super, super interesting. So guys, definitely check out Mr. Henry and his spices, his seasonings. I can't wait to tell you how it tastes. I thank you so much for joining us um, and being featured tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow at 10 p.m. So make sure you come back so I can show you our next uh, Black business owner. So good night, guys. Thank you again. Good night. Thank you.